Welcome back. Now it's time to get a look at some health headlines on MedWatch Today. For many people, the holiday season is the happiest time of the year, but for others, it's the hardest. Addiction specialists say the opiate crisis doesn't take a break during the holiday season, and that this is actually the worst time of year for those recovering from drug addiction. Doctors say it's easy to relapse and get back into old habits when surrounded by family and high stress environments. According to a recent study, more than 64,000 people died last year because of drug overdoses. Experts advise monitoring family members who are recovering and to get medical help immediately if a relapse does occur. And if you're trying to lose weight and reach fitness goals, snapping a selfie could pay off. New research shows social media can help people lose weight by participating in virtual support communities. Taking pictures and getting encouragement from your followers has been shown to help people achieve their weight loss goals. Researchers tracked two groups of people over four years and found the participants were more likely to commit to their fitness goals and achieve them one by one if they shared their successes and failures online. A patient is always in good hands at community medical centers because the staff and employees treat patients like their own family. And that's especially true with this week's Healthcare Hero. Michelle Biggs' journey to becoming a nurse at Community Regional Medical Center was started when her father was in the hospital after being diagnosed with brain cancer. She said it was then that she felt a calling in her life to change career paths and become a nurse. I saw the nurses and the staff caring for him and it was such a hard time for our family and they were so great with him and with us. And I thought, oh my gosh, this is, this is what I want to do with my life. Michelle says becoming a nurse was one of the best decisions of her life. She works as a float nurse, which means she doesn't work in a set unit, but rather when she comes into work, she is assigned somewhere to help fill the staffing needs of the hospital for that day. Working as a nurse in all departments, from the emergency room to the neuroscience floor. To be a float nurse, Michelle says you need to be outgoing and like change, because every day is unique and you work with many different teams. Michelle is known for her positive attitude and helping out her fellow employees whenever they need an extra hand. One of the best things about working for community is the staff. The other people that I work with make my job so amazing. Everyone is so supportive. Some of my closest friends are my coworkers, and it is easy to be positive when you feel supportive and happy to be working with the people you work with. If you'd like to be part of the team at Community Medical Centers, maybe our job of the week is right up your alley. Community is currently hiring for a full-time operating room registered nurse. Candidates must be a graduate of an approved nursing program, have a current California registered nurse license, a BLS certification, and have at least three years experience in an OR. For a full list of requirements, just visit the website jobs.communitymedical.org. Coming up on MedWatch Today, a patient support group all about staying healthy after bariatric surgery. See one local woman's transformation after weight loss surgery and how she is living her best life thanks to the help of Fresno Heart and Surgical Hospital's Bariatric Patient Support Group. That's next. Hi, my name is Teresa Danielli and I have a few heart healthy tips for you today. It's as simple as following your ABCs. A, aspirin, ask your physician if this is the right therapy for you. B, blood pressure, know your numbers. C, cholesterol, know your numbers and get this under control. And these are my simple heart healthy tips for you today.